Everybody, it's Tyler here at SCORE with your champions, Zelsius and First Class. Congratulations to both of you, now qualified for VEX Worlds. We're very excited to talk to Paul and Aldrin to learn a little bit more about their journey getting into finals as well, too. So, Paul, i got to ask you, coming in, uh, you know, Zelsius ends up being the number one seed, uh, has a great uh, set of qualification matches. Uh, what kind of led to some of your success in quals? Um, yeah, we just like to focus on Auton One Point because um, in our other signature events and other local comps, um, we just noticed that like um, our Autons weren't consistent, they're just too rushed, like too fast. So we, we really wanted to focus on Auton One Point getting that alliance stake and just making it as easy as possible for alliances um, to score one ring. And yeah, um, we knew we had like a good, at least a decent ring side. So um, at least in alliance selection, we wanted to choose a good team, good team with like a good consistent um, uh, mogul rush. So yeah, that's how we came to choose first class. Yeah, totally. I think that complements you very well on both of Did your strategy change at all in playoffs starting out with like round of 16 and stuff? Um, yeah, um, I'm not sure if it was in round of 16, but we noticed that our Auton started scoring some blue rings, whether it's a top ring. Um, or just a middle ring, but um, because of that, we started actually losing Autons and Elims. And we actually had to adapt a lot for that, that strategy because it was getting pretty close where we had to get third goal, we had to win wall stakes. Um, so we actually just had to adapt a lot, like looking at the field during Auton, just like analyzing the field, choosing what to do next. Um, and we just ensured a lot of good communication, yeah. Elder and I, as you're coming into the line selection and you find out Zelsius is going to be picking you, what was kind of going through your mind at that time? Um, kind of what was going through my mind was how can our, how can we synchronize our autos and communication really well? I think our goal rush auto was 7 for 7 overall throughout the entire competition, which really helped. And we knew that Zelsius was a really good team that could quickly clear out the positive and gain control of the second goal really, really fast. I do want to ask you uh, in finals a little bit some match strategy with that. So uh, obviously able to get the goal rush, but you did lose auto in both times for that too. So a little bit of sacrifice there. So when you were kind of uh, looking at finals one and the finals two, did you consider making a change to like Katana's modes at all? Um, I don't think we decided to change any because we knew that our autos have been working. So we decided not to change anything to make it worse. And, but we knew that that was only one win condition. The second win condition was the, mo the third goal. And auto bonus is only six, while the third goal is worth eight. So we profited two from that, and as you can see from the score, we won by one point. So that, I think, was what won us a match. Yeah, very, very close matches. Looking at uh, past autonomous into teleop modes, uh, how did some of your communications work in between your teammates? Uh, definitely, I'd say you're one of the loudest alliances down in the field, uh, for sure. But kind of walk me through just how some of that match strategy works in, in robot driver control. Yeah, so we just basically just analyzed the whole field all together. And um, my drive team member, Shining, she basically just kind of calls out all the timing, um, make sure we don't get any DQs for plowing for a triple possession, double possession. Um, just making sure like we're playing it safe, we're not playing too aggressive, that always protecting the positive corner. Um, because, you know, like as soon as we lose the positive corner, we're basically losing this game. Um, as we already like kind of lose one win condition, but we're just focused on how can we still win. We're not trying to give up. We're just trying to get how many points we get. What's the best way to get more points? Um, let's defend this. Let's get top rank stuff like that. And we're just constantly communicating with each other, keep keeping a score constantly, and that's just helping us a lot. And just like choosing what to do in our decisions. One other thing I want to ask you in the final show, I saw this kind of this box out strategy kind of happen uh, right near the beginning of the match where you weren't letting the other alliance get to the other side of the field. Just kind of talk me through uh, what led to that decision. Sure. So we knew that. Even if we lost auto, we would need that third goal, and our goal rush auto mostly got that third goal under our control. So we decided, I decided to play the screen so our teammate, Zelsius, could get comfortable in the corner so we could comfortably win that match. Well, obviously worked out great for you all. Qualified for Vexfolds. Congratulations once again to your winners, Zelsius First Class, and we can't wait to see them come to see you in the Vexfolds. Congratulations. Yeah. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.